hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today is sunday happy sunday i have a love hate relationship with sundays i love being productive and just like the cozy laziness of sundays but i hate that the work week is ahead of us but nothing more that i love than an early appointment and just being done with it i had a wax appointment which I just started doing. My last appointment was in June, so I've been spacing them out every four weeks. And let me tell you guys, couldn't recommend it enough. I do sugaring and I love it. So the first appointment, I will say, it hurts. It's not fun. I'm a wimp with pain though. So like if you have tattoos and everything, you can do it. I'm just a baby. And my second appointment, which was just now, night and day. Like I was like, I like, don't even really feel it. Like I was more scared of like the anticipation than the actual pain. So of like what it was. So yeah, happy that's over and done with and it's only 9.45. Um, so, oh, and then yesterday, speaking of early appointments, I got my nails done. So of course I went short, natural and pink. My sister's like, wow, that's like really short. Like I probably like wouldn't pay to get my nails done if they were that short. I'm like, these are the ideal nails for me. I love having them short. I feel like I just can get so much more done. I love just like not, I don't know. I don't know how I used to do really long nails. I really, cause I used to love like, but now I just, I don't know. It like, used, it, now it like creeps me out a little bit. So yeah, and then I have my hair appointment on Tuesday and I'm so back and forth. So it's like the week of appointments. It's my birthday. So my birthday gift from Brad um, is to get my hair done. So I'm like so indecisive on what I want to do. I'm like, do I want... So I sent my hairdresser. Oh, it looks like the sun's coming out. I sent my hairdresser an inspo photo and it's Kristen Cavallari. She, it's not her super, super blonde hair. I do like the length of it. But it, it's like more brown up top and then blonde. But my sister's like kind of convincing me not to do it. And I get what she's saying. Like she's like, your hair is so long. But I personally just feel like long, or yeah, long hair just doesn't really do anything for me. And when I had short hair, I felt like I just looked more chic and older. So I don't know. Um, I'm still kind of thinking it through. Um, but I need to let my hairdresser know that my other option is to go short but chocolate brown. She's gonna be like, girl, what are we doing? So <laughs> I need to figure that out. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping today will be a productive Sunday. That's my plan. It looks like the sun's trying to peek through, which would be amazing yesterday. Honestly, this summer has been awful. Like it really has been. And yesterday was like the first hot summer day. It was humid, but at least the sun was out. And I spent all day just outside reading my book. I'm almost done. I really like my book. I just, it's just taken me a while to get through. And I think what it is, is I love like rom-coms, but I know how it's going to end. So I'm like not eager to like finish it, you know? So I'm reading a not so cute him not so cute me what the heck is it called my pregnancy brain you guys i'm telling you um i'm like so forgetful a not so cute him i think that's what it's called and it's really good it's just i i know how it's gonna end so i'm just like like where i'm reading a mystery or a thriller i'm like on the edge of my seat so yeah i kind of want to finish that today i really hope the sun comes out because weather makes me really tired um so, you know, oh and then i stopped at my one of my favorite coffee shops um and i got coconut iced coffee i was not loving coffee in my first trimester honestly the smell of it would make me sick i can still smell everything it's actually crazy and my father-in-law he wakes up early and he we have an in-law i think i've told you guys this but he is two floors down and i can literally it wakes me up the smell of his coffee at four in the morning <laughs> he's like oh i feel bad i'm like don't I'm like it's i would be making the coffee too but i just like can't do it but now i'm, I'm starting to like it again um so yeah i stopped there i was gonna get food but i don't know we have food at the house so i didn't and like i said i got my nails done i got wax i have my hair appointment so oh and another thing i want to do i'm like kind of all over the place now but i really want to um clean up Kaysen's room 
which I know we're still early. The girl at the um, my waxer, she's great. And I love hate when <laughs> you don't look pregnant because I'm like, oh, thanks. But then I'm like, should I be? <laughs> it makes me just a little anxious and everything. But I, I know it's like no ill will behind it. But she was just like, one of the workers here is like really, really pregnant. Or she's not really, really pregnant. She's three months, so like the same as me. And she's like popping. And I'm like, oh, I'm not really there yet. Um, I'm, I'm still experiencing morning sickness, so I feel like that probably has something to do with it because I'm not really keeping much down, not to be gross, but yeah, so we have an appointment next Tuesday, so I'm sure they'll check and everything. I just kind of like spaced it out, but I was like, I don't like that. <laughs> it just makes me nervous, but um, so yeah, I wanted to start cleaning up his room. We've been using it as kind of like storage. It's not my office. His room, I'll have to, I'll show you guys, is going to be the room that we don't use. So I'm gonna keep my office as is, um, and he'll have the other room. What's great about that room is it is it stays dark. The sun doesn't shine in, and it's like honestly the perfect room for a nursery. Just like kind of the layout. Um, and then as he gets older, if he wants like the office with the more light, then we'll figure it out. But. Um, in the future, if Kason gets older, and if Kason is lucky enough to have a brother or sister, you know, like, if we're given that opportunity, because we both, we were actually talking yesterday, and we both agreed, like, two would be the max. I want Kason to have a brother or sister. I really would love to have a girl, um, at some point, but if we can have a second baby in the future, like, right now, we're, like, focused on Kason. Um, but would love to have Casey have a little brother, brother or sister. Um, why am I getting emotional? Get it together. Um, that would be perfect. It's just with the house and everything. I don't think I've done it. I think too, it's just like what we both were like. I think that would like complete the family. Um, and then eventually in the future, we want to do an extension over the house. So, I mean, that would be perfect. But this room is great for a baby because it stays dark it stays cool there's only one window so it'll just be good for like napping and everything um and like even my sister was like this is like literally the perfect baby room because it just it stays dark and cool like i keep saying so yeah um all right so i want to kind of start organizing that i mean i know he, we still have ways to go but casein's already so spoiled and love he has so many clothes already he has all the things so i want to just like start getting rid of the clutter and making room for his stuff and if we were having a girl we were going to paint the nursery but we're gonna leave as is i've talked about this before and i always just wanted like a clean white um walls brad didn't like that he's like i think it's gonna look like just too like i don't know i get what he was saying like no character but i'm like but you build around it like you decorate around it he just wasn't getting it and he was like really against it and i wasn't against these wall colors however i don't love them i really don't they're fine but this is our forever home so i would love to paint the house again but we've just been in the house for a year so it just doesn't make sense to do it and like it's not horrible you know it's not like it's like a blue, like a royal blue or anything it's just i just love like the creams and the whites and the neutrals and what sucks is <laughs> effing painter you guys he pretty much like created his own color like that was not the color we picked we picked olympic white which i was like this is crazy like in all the photos and the samples and everything like it definitely looked more white so i'm like not sure what happened and why it's so gray and blue tone and we had to like patch up some areas just from like little like you know like dents or whatever and every single guy we've had so many people come over to like try and match the paint and go to paint shops and they're like he pretty much like created his own i don't know what he did so like yeah so i can't beat this up so yeah um and maybe in the future we'll you know repaint and go neutral but 
we're gonna leave as is, I, I think, unless we get that sudden urge to be like, you know what, let's just start with this room and paint it the cream and neutral. Maybe we will, but I don't see that happening, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, but anyways, I wanna start organizing because he has so many, not so many, but he has a decent amount of clothes already. So I bought some haters and those came in last night. So I wanna start hanging his clothes. Obviously we'll wash them and everything as he gets closer to his due date. But my best friend who's pregnant, she's four months ahead of me. And she's like, if there's one thing I can recommend is like start clearing out and everything now because she was like, I'm doing it now. And she's pretty pregnant. Her due date is like two months away. And she's like, and I'm just like struggling. Like I'm so tired. I don't wanna like bend over and do all this stuff. So I was like, that's actually really good advice. Like while I'm comfortable and everything able to move around, I should get ahead of it. So yeah, all right, well, thanks for taking me home guys. That was a good update. We need to come up with a name for the car chit chats. Um, so if anyone has any ideas, let me know. I just feel like it's like our time to update and Every time I vlog in front of Brad, he's always like, just like making comments. And I'm like, okay, now I got to restart <laughs> um, and everything. And Brad works for, I don't know, a college. So I got like some questions on like why he's not in it. He works for a college and I think he just doesn't want to be on YouTube. I don't know. I, I get it. So it's like not everyone's thing. I do think because we were talking, I was like, you know, like I really want to document all this stuff with Kaysen. And he was definitely on board with it. So yeah. All right. Anyways, check with you guys later. All right, you guys. So it's now 10 minutes later. I decided I want to go and do some shopping. So <laughs> I have this random burst of energy, which doesn't happen. I think it's the second trimester of just feeling like myself again. And yeah, I want to go do some shopping for baby Kaysen. So that's what we're going to go and do. Um, so we're going to TJ Maxx. I also need to look for myself also because I'm at that awkward phase where it's too early to buy maternity clothes, but nothing's really fitting me. I can't even tell you the guys the last time I bought or I wore jeans. Um, granted, I wouldn't wear jeans really in the summertime anyways, but it's more for the reason that it just, like they just don't fit me. So I want to go and look around and see. Of course, the sun is coming out. So if it can stay out, that would be great. So I can enjoy the outdoors today, finish my book. There's just, honestly I can finish my book inside too, but there's just something so peaceful and relaxing of like reading and listening to the birds chirp and having like water or an iced coffee and just taking your mind off like everyday to do things. And I'm trying to get better at that. I I've been pretty like stressed out with the store and it's just a lot and I'm trying not to be because I want to be as less stressed out and prioritize my health for Kaysen. Um So yeah, but I do need to get some work done. I really need to look into an assistant. I post about it and I get a few messages and then I don't really hear back. So I think I'm gonna have, I'm at the point where I'm gonna have to start reaching out to like some high schools and see if I can get an intern that way. It's just hard where I do it from my house. I just, I don't know. All right, we can talk about that another time, but let's go do some shopping. I hope they have some good stuff. All right, you guys, $130 later, I'd say that it was a successful shopping trip. I didn't get anything for myself. I'm just I'm like, I know I have stuff that can hold me over. I'm lying. I did get one workout set and I'm thinking about it. It's a crop top, so I don't know why I did that, but it's so cute. Um, so yeah, but I don't know. I'm like, I know I have stuff in my closet that can hold me over until it is time to buy maternity clothes, but and they just like, they had this dress, you guys. It was so pretty. I wish I sent a photo to my sisters. It was stunning. And it would be perfect for my cousin's wedding in the fall. It was Jessica Simpson. And it was only like $20. I'm like, oh, I want to buy this. But it, it's literally just going to sit in my closet because it was like long sleeve and like fall colors. It was beautiful. But again, I just like don't have anywhere to wear it. And by the fall time, I'm going to be whooping. So... And yeah, and then with Kaysen, there wasn't really any winter newborn clothes, um, but I did get him some 
stuff. They had like a few, but not much to choose from. I bet in the next few weeks they will. Um, it's still really summery, newborn. So yeah, gotta wait it out a little bit longer, but I did get him some, you guys. Don't sleep on Tina, they have the cutest baby stuff. They're so inexpensive. I got like onesies for, they had like a five set onesie, but it was 12 months and I was like, eh, like, I don't really want to buy for 12 months right now. And it was a five piece for $7.99. I'm like, this has to be marked wrong, but they all were $7.99. Like a five piece set, that's insane. So yeah, um, I'll show you guys what I got, but did well, did well. Didn't get exactly like what I went in for, but they have some good stuff. Um, but I'm like, where's the fall stuff? Okay, I see people on TikTok. Maybe they have that at like Home Goods. But I'm like, where is it? It'll be out soon. So we'll wait it out a few more weeks and then I bet all the winter stuff will be out for at least clothes. Um, but yeah, I would say it was a successful trip. I got some pretty good stuff. So yeah, now I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna enjoy outside. It's pretty humid out, but I don't, that doesn't really, humid, it doesn't really bother me as long as it's like not raining. Like I just wanna be outside. I wanna try and finish my book and need to make lunch. I have leftover uh, burrito bowl from yesterday, so I'll probably pick on that. And yeah, I love that it's only 11.18. Oh, such a good feeling. And I still have the rest of the afternoon to clean. Um, I was thinking about, um, so our friends are moving. Brad, I think I told you guys, um, he's helping them. And I was going to go down, but then it just kind of overlapped with my appointment. And then we're like, yeah, it's kind of silly to take two cars down. Like, we'll probably just be in the way because I think there's a lot of people helping them. So I messaged her just saying I can help with, like, organizing. Like, I can't really lift anything. Um, so I thought about going down, but I think I'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the day. I just am loving that it's so early. And I really, like I said, should do some cleaning. But this is the, not the problem, but I'm like, oh, like, I work from home. I'll do it, you know, while I have some downtime at work. And I never end up doing it because, let's be real, is there really any downtime? Not really, so. All right, you guys. I know I've been in the car this whole entire vlog, but that's like, I don't know. I, TJ Maxx was getting busy, so I'm like, I, I gotta get out of here. My stomach, I gotta use the bathroom, so. Overall, 10 out of 10. I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Okay, you guys, home sweet home. We're out of the, the car. But I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So, first thing, I wanted a throw pillow for our couch downstairs. And I thought about getting something colorful, but I kind of want to switch them out. Um, seasonally, they didn't really have any good summer ones. Um, like the one that I liked, it just felt cheap. Like I felt like it was gonna, I don't know. But I got this one obviously neutral so got that and then I got Riggs this football it's like now when I get case in something I mean I always try to get Riggs a toy there because they're so inexpensive like this was only four dollars um but I'm like I have to get Riggs something if I'm getting case in something so Riggs toy box is going to be overflowing <laughs> um I got a baby shower card and a wedding shower card I can't make it to the wedding shower but I did get them a gift so got that I'm gonna get a bag but I was unsure of the size is this okay and then I've been wanting a um what is this S um, salad bowl cleaner um this was only twelve dollars so I got that and then I, am, oh. I needed some new cloth clips I got these. I thought they were super cute. Neutral. Um, this planner, which I'm obsessed with, and it starts next month. So I grabbed this, and it was on sale. I love, like, the illustrations. You guys know that. Um, oh, this is the two-piece set that I got that I was showing, telling you guys. So I got it in a medium, so it'll be pretty long, but obviously once I start showing, probably won't wear this. Um, it was $30, so it was a like a little bit more expensive for TJ Maxx, but I really like this. So I like the top and then it comes with biker shorts, which I can wear to spin class. I love that. Um, I got a new face cleanser. I just got the e.l.f. skin clarifying cleanser. Honestly, I'm out. I need to go to Sephora Ulta, but it's like 
kind of far far away enough that it's like a pain i guess i could order it online um so i grabbed this and then the, the rest baby case and okay you guys i'm so excited to show you so this was the only thing that i could find that was newborn um zero to three and it looks pretty big now that i'm looking at it so probably will fit him more in like the three month range but we'll see he could be a big baby <laughs> um so i got this i thought it was super cute with little alphabets and the elephant and of course neutral which is really good because my mom's like oh i like go shopping and i just know you're gonna be so picky i'm like but think about it like if we have a baby girl this will fit her or like she can wear this too so have that and then the other stuff are pretty boyish so oh i don't know which one i want to show you guys first oh this one was also newborn to three months zero to three friend i always say love you to the moon and back but i had to get this so these little pants are you kidding me um and it has like the little like onesie type fit which is perfect for his little feet and then it says i love you to the moon and back and then the little hat oh, are you kidding me so cute okay i'll save that one for last this is six months oh my god guys my hair so like june july august so perfect zero uh, six to nine months are you kidding me the little overalls or suspenders i can't the flamingo top no there's a hole Okay, we're gonna return this. It's only ten dollars. So cute! I can't. I can put that over there so I know where to return it. <sighs> okay, this is my favorite. <sighs> so cute. Six to six months. I think it's six to nine. Always make sure you check. I know I did. This, so this is six months. Are you kidding me? The little stripes, you guys, and then with the little like collar. I'm gonna cry. Like, how cute is he gonna look in the summer? <sighs> I'm gonna cry. Okay, love this. No hold or anything. <sighs> so annoying. We'll go and return that because I want to get this and I don't want it to sell out, but not with the hole. That's so annoying. Okay, so that's everything that I got. I'm now gonna go outside before it starts to rain. You guys so it's now a lot later my camera died but honestly i've been really doing too much i did go back to tj maxx to return the pink suspender set because there's a hole in the back and i told you guys that and they had no more which is crazy because it was like they had a bunch when i went this morning and then i went around two o'clock so i had to exchange because i obviously wasn't going to keep them that had um a hole in it so I ended up getting this two piece or three piece set. So it comes with this little white onesie button up. How stinking cute. This is in six months. And then the little bucket hat and the matching shorts. I literally cannot wait. I know six months, literally a year from this time, but I just can't resist. And then I didn't see this at first. I think that they put out some new stuff. I'm not sure, but this wasn't there. When I went this morning and like I said he needs more newborn stuff and I just like love this especially the zipper I was hesitant on the zipper but my sister said it's actually super helpful just be careful that you don't pinch their skin especially in the middle of the night to not have to worry about like buttoning him um and everything so yeah and I love this because this can also like I keep saying can be a girl outfit if we were to have a girl in the future so yeah anyways I need to shower I was gonna wash my hair, but I'm getting my hair done on Tuesday, like I told you guys. So I think I'm just gonna let it be. And honestly, just relax. I'm pretty tired, so I can't believe tomorrow's already Monday, guys. But I'll take you with me tomorrow and Tuesday for my hair appointment. Hey, you guys. So it is now Tuesday. It is 7 11, aka my birthday. 29 years old also free slurpee day so you can't forget my birthday i feel like it's an easy one to remember 7 11 so yeah anyways it's 9 30 i had such a nice morning i woke up okay well i had a morning sickness of course but that's okay um and just relaxed did some cleaning and showered and yeah it's 
9 30 i'm on my way to my favorite coffee shop and then i'm going to get my hair done so i don't really care too much about my birthday i like do and i don't i always just try to do something for myself like i take the day to literally do whatever i want that day um so i always try to kind of schedule something for myself so whether it be like a massage a nail appointment um something to like pamper myself so today i'm getting my hair done it's actually my birthday gift from brad um and i'm really excited so i show you guys what i'm driving i am i'll show you after it'll be a little surprise you gotta wait um but i am doing something different so i'm excited so yeah i'm gonna get a little coffee brad was like on his way out i'm like where are you going he's like oh i'm like you're going to get me a coffee and usually i'd be like so down for coffee and breakfast in bed but i wanted to go to this place before and i knew he was going to go to a different coffee shop um because i also need to eat something right before my appointment you know i love getting my hair done i love having my hair done i can't say i love sitting there for like hours just doing nothing especially on a day like today the weather could not be any more perfect but it's all right you know um i think i'll be out hopefully from she posted like her appointments <laughs> and she has a mail an opening at two so i'm like okay at least i know i'll have to be done by like hopefully one-ish so i can still enjoy outside a little bit so yeah and then tonight brad and i are going um to one of our favorite pizza places it's regina's pizza if you're from um new england or boston then you know but it's a restaurant called Pokari's, and we used to have one in my hometown and it's not there anymore they took it away so we're going to it's not that far it's only like 30 minutes and he was going to do a steakhouse but you guys i feel like i've told you i'm still like just don't really have an appetite especially for me like on sunday not to be tmi his dad and brad they made um steak and i literally was like throwing up in front of him i felt so bad but i don't know it's just like nothing sounds good like i love pineapple right now and that's about it like, i just love fruit um so yeah still having like a little bit of hard time keeping things down and having an appetite like i kind of have to force myself to eat which is fine but i'm like always hungry so it's just it's the weirdest feeling like i don't want to eat but like my stomach hurts like i need to eat so yeah obviously listening to my body and kind of like forcing it like even this bagel right now honestly does not sound appetizing at all but i'm gonna force it because i will be miserable in this appointment and honestly need to listen to what the baby needs so yeah oh i'm so excited brought my kindle brought my um ipad it's also prime day so planning to do some shopping during this i did a little q a on my instagram so hopefully the appointment will go fast and i'll be in and out but anyways guys take a look at my hair now it's gonna be different when you guys see me in the next clip here is the after i am obsessed i was going to vlog in the parking lot but you guys i'm starving i'm so hungry i only had a bagel and then i brought a few snacks to eat during the appointment but i needed like an actual meal i've just been having cheez its and the bagel but i love it i think she did such a good job i'm so happy i went short my sister was like this might be kind of like a rational decision like make sure it's actually what you want to do and i could not be happier i feel like i'm just made to have short hair i feel like it just does more for me than my long hair so yeah now heading home i need to eat something and then brad and i have dinner tonight for my birthday so you guys told you guys we we're gonna go to a steakhouse um, but instead, yes, I told you guys this. We're going to get pizza. I'm so excited. All I want is cheese pizza. Like, that sounds so good. I know, crazy, but I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I just can't do anything that's like meat. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah. So, I'm so happy with my hair. It did take a little bit longer than I was hoping for. But it is what it is. It was worth it. It looks amazing she does such a good job i love my hairdresser i go to drapiel in merrimack she does such a good job and my hairdresser is the owner darlene highly highly recommend i literally am obsessed with her she just makes the appointment so 
easy. I mean, getting your hair done, it's never like a pain in the butt, but she makes it go fast because towards the end, I definitely get like a little antsy of like, okay, I just want to get home. I'm starving. Um, cause I've been there since like 9 30 and it's now 2 30. So yeah, I need to eat something. I'm so hungry. Like, ugh. I was munching on cheese it's I'm like, wow, I should have brought something and like asked her to put it in the fridge, but I didn't think of that until I was there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head home, enjoy the rest of my birthday. I can't believe it's already 2.30. Um, I'm just excited for a little date night tonight. So I'll check with you guys later on.